talk a little bit about the Michael J. Fox show. What's up next for Annie? I don't know. Um, you know, I love that we've dipped into Annie as a teacher and just like Annie outside of the house a little bit. Um, and I gotta tell you, I think those kids are just gonna keep her on her toes. You know, um, oh my god, I almost just said something that's gonna happen. Please do! The very last episode of the first season. And Please feel free! Did it. Um, yeah, those kids keep me on my toes. And they're gonna keep me on my toes, you know, in season two, hopefully, too. To me, Annie kind of seems like the glue that holds the family together, but who holds Annie together, do you think? Oh man, she leans on Mike. I think she leans on her husband and, you know, and I think also, like, even though some Sometimes it's her family that, you know, that are up to the shenanigans. Um, she knows that they're absolutely there for her. You know, it's, it's a really, I, I love this cast. I have to say, like, I honestly, and I'm not a downer. I just, Breaking Bad was so amazing. I didn't expect to be this happy at my next job after. And it's it's just been so much fun to do. Last question. Um, talk a little bit about the spinoff, the Breaking Bad spinoff. I really don't know much about it. I, I know that, you know, it's got some of the geniuses, genius minds that are behind Breaking Bad. So I feel like we can't go wrong there. But I think it's going to be a really different animal than Breaking Bad was. You know, they're not going to try and continue Breaking Bad. It's going to be its own thing. And, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm a huge fan of Bob Odenkirk's and Jonathan Banks. And, you know, I mean, I, I, I just think I, I would watch those guys do anything. So, you know, and then we've got these great writers. So to me, that's just a smart recipe. I'd like to invest in it. That's how much I believe in it. Can I do wow. that? Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's wonderful. If they were selling stock, I'd buy.